Howdy ho there friends and neighbors, Bobby here today. Hey folks, today we're going to be changing the oil in a 2001 Ford Explorer Sport Track. Okay, so if you have one of these vehicles, I hope this uh, video will be helpful to you. A couple tools that you will need, you will need a large band wrench, you will need a 13 millimeter sock, socket on a ratchet or a 13 millimeter wrench. Um, here's our new oil filter, we've got a Fram high mileage. And we also have five quarts of uh, Valvoline Max Life. So let's go ahead and pull the cap off of this thing and we'll go down below and get this thing draining. Okay folks, I'm underneath the vehicle. I don't think I'm going to be able to film this and actually do it at the same time. But I just want to show you. Here's your drain plug. That's where your 13 millimeter wrench will go in there and loosen that up and remove it. And the filter is kind of way up here as you can see. And I'll have to use my strap wrench and be careful not to burn yourself on the uh, catalytic converter right there as you lo loosen that up and back it out. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and remove both of these and let it drain and get this old filter off of here, but I won't be able to film that. Okay, with our oil draining below and our filter already removed, we're going to go ahead and take our brand new filter here and we will go ahead and lubricate the rubber o ring on here with a little bit of fresh motor oil so we got some on our finger and we'll go ahead and lube this up really good before we go down below okay we're getting ready to install the drain plug again we checked our washer on here and it looks pretty good so we will go ahead and screw it back down and t tighten it with our 13 millimeter wrench And that's good right there and then we have our brand new Fram high mileage filter that with and we've already lubricated our ring and we're going to reach up in here I know you can't see it but we are going to screw this filter on and tighten it down by hand I love these Fram filters because they have this easy grip texture on the end of it where you can get a nice grip on it and friends that's about as tight as it needs to be right there so our filter is good we'll double check our drain plug one more time and that's good and we will wipe off any excess oil and we will be good to go up top and fill this thing up okay friends now for the easy part Let's just add the oil. This vehicle calls for five quarts. So that's exactly what we are installing today. And then we'll show you what to do next. Okay, after you've installed the oil and put the oil cap back on, let's go ahead and crank it up. We'll let it run for 10 to 15 seconds or until we see that we have oil pressure or if we have just the oil warning light to make sure that it goes off. And it looks like we're there. We definitely have oil pressure on our gate, so let's switch it off. Okay, now it's time to check the oil level, folks. Find your dipstick. Go ahead and pull that out. Wipe it clean. Let's take a look at this dipstick. As you can see, that there's a dot right down here, there's a dot right there, and then there's an area that has like crosshatch marks. We hope to be right here at the very top of the crosshatch, but anywhere in between that area is a safe range to run. So let's stick it back in and check to see what our level is okay let's see where we're at and it looks like we are dead on the money at the top of the area where the cross hatches are so friends we're good to go friends i also want to thank you for stopping by today and checking out our video on how to change the oil on a ford sport track don't forget to subscribe and tell a friend about us have a nice day